Did the Chinese government just gain a bit of leverage? Billionaire Jeff Bezos accuses rival Elon Musk of being in the pocket of the CCP because China is Tesla's second largest market. Jeff Bezos on Monday questioned whether Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter would bring the company under Chinese influence. We're back, Tucker Carlson's Twitter account is reinstated just hours after Elon Musk purchased the platform, TV host was banned for referring to transgender health secretary as a man. Human rights groups raise fears over hate speech after Elon Musk's $44 billion Twitter takeover as self-described free speech absolutist vows no moderation and to stop banning users. Elon is the singular solution I trust. Jack Dorsey tweets support for Musk's takeover bid as its revealed Twitter founder is in line to make $928 million from the deal while CEO Parag Agrawal will get $39 million. Wokarati threatened Twitter exodus over Musk. But none of them have deleted their accounts so far, Jamila Jamil, Mia Farrow, and Rob Reiner lead left-wing outcry. How Musk will put his mark on Twitter, new boss wants to ditch ads in favor of subscriptions that can be bought with Dogecoin, introduce longer tweets, turn HQ into homeless shelter, fire woke staff and kill bots. In my opinion this is interesting to see play out. Jeff Bezos makes an interesting point and wonder how much influence the CCP has over Musk. Tucker Carlson's voice should have never been silenced and good to see his account is reinstated. Of course human rights groups are scared, but where were they when others were being silenced? Jack Dorsey is a weirdo and is making tons of money off this transaction. I wouldn't buy a subscription to that platform, but these woketards should leave. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.